Hello lovers, are you a cheating partner? Let's find out. You're welcome to Eve's Desire by Tiwa Says and I am your pleasure coach. So we know that cheating in relationships has become sort of a pandemic these days. But still, there'll be some people who say they have never cheated on their partners. But before you make such a claim, why don't you watch this video to the end and then decide for yourself. Today, I'm going to be talking about micro cheating. What is micro cheating? So we often associate cheating in a relationship with um, sexual or physical infidelity. But in reality, there are a lot of gray areas in between. Of course, it is a given that if you have um, a sexual relation with someone outside of your relationship without your partner's consent, that is considered as cheating. An emphasis on without your partner's consent because there are actually some relationships where there's an agreement between partners, you know, to see other people or have relationships and sexual relations with other people outside of your relationship. Of your primary relationship but if that is not the case and you're having a sexual relationship with someone outside of your relationship of course that is considered as cheating but what of hanging out with someone who you're not seeing you're frequently hanging out with someone who you're attracted to what do we call that today i'm going to be discussing micro cheating i'm sure some of you might have heard of that term and if you have not heard of it you are in luck because i'm going to be discussing it in full so what is micro cheating Micro cheating is any behavior that goes outside healthy or um, expected or agreed upon boundaries. And what I mean is that, you know, anything that goes outside of your boundaries, the boundaries that you have discussed with your partner, that's before even going into a relationship. That is why I always um, talk about communication. Communication is key in a relationship, even before a relationship. You know, before the start of a relationship, you are supposed to have discussed your boundaries. This is um, this is what I feel safe doing. This is what I don't feel safe. This is what I consider as being excessive. You know, you have to have had that agreement and have a set of boundaries. So anything outside of those boundaries or anything that is not seen as a healthy boundary is called micro cheating. So micro cheating can be tricky because it is not black and white. It is subtle. You know, and because it does not involve um, a physical or sexual intimacy, most people just write it off as as a normal thing. They don't think it's cheating because it doesn't involve two people coming together sexually. But no, micro cheating is still cheating, even though you are not involved sexually, but you are involved emotionally. So it is still considered as cheating, and it doesn't. It does not. It's not bound by married couples alone. As long as you are in a relationship with the opposite sex either a courtship, whether you're dating, you know, a long-term or short-term relationship. As long as you're in a, in a relationship that cheating can be a problem, then micro-cheating can also be involved. Like I always say, every relationship is unique. So it is up to the partners in the relationship to decide what counts as cheating for them. And that is why communication before the relationship is always important, not just before during the course of the relationship as well communication is key in any relationship but with that being said here are some behaviors that count as micro cheating and the first one would have to be communication with your ex if you're still in constant communication with your ex or cultivating an intimate interaction with your ex then that is considered as micro cheating and don't be confused when i say intimate interaction it doesn't mean you have to have a physical interaction even if you're chatting you know, over the phone and you're having long conversations at night, during the day, spending a whole lot of your, of your time online with your ex, that is a, a, a big red flag and that is micro cheating. Another point would have to be if you are lying about your relationship status online or with other people, or you're not sure or, you know, because I've seen situations where people are asked, okay, are you seeing someone? And then they are like, um, they don't give a definite answer. Maybe because someone they like is, you know, in that gathering or something. That is micro cheating. If you're also spending a lot of your time online, chatting with people online on Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, you know, just getting engaged, spending a, a lot of your time with other people online, that is considered micro cheating. If you are hanging out with friends and you are not disclosing this to your partner, maybe you're probably seeing an old friend or you're even seeing an ex, you know, 
and um, you're lying to your partner about it saying oh okay maybe i'm just going for a meeting or something if you are not being clear if you are not being honest about um, your whereabouts that is micro cheating also reconnecting with someone from your past and hiding it from your partner you know it obviously shows that there's something um something going on there's something behind that if you have to hide it from your partner that is micro cheating seeking validation from someone outside of your partner is considered micro cheating let me give you a scenario in a situation where you have a misunderstanding with your partner and you're trying to vent or you are actually venting to someone who is not inside the relationship you are complaining or you're whining and then you are looking for support looking for a shoulder to lean on that is considered micro cheating because it could go past that and that is how micro cheating usually starts you know because it is subtle it creeps in on you and it might eventually lead to a sexual infidelity this is not me saying that every of such occurrence happens that way but that is why micro cheating is very risky so it is always better not to indulge at all late night chatting and texting with someone who is not your partner can also be considered as micro cheating and this is always done under the guise of oh i'm bored oh i'm just looking for some excitement it's nothing serious it, it has no strings but that is how micro cheating starts because it is sort of like i said earlier so it just creeps in on you and then it goes from there most micro cheating starts um, because some of the people involved or some of the people who are engaged in micro cheating are looking for something maybe something they are not finding in their relationship maybe they are looking um, for attention looking to be complimented looking to be heard it's whatever you don't have or it's not existing in your relationship you know that you start looking for outside so sometimes it's always better like i like i always advocate for communication it's always better for you to communicate with your partner so you know where your stand is at every point in time and you know if your partner is happy with the relationship if there are any lapses anywhere so that you can cover up so that you both don't deviate and step outside of the relationship either way you look at it there is some form of dishonesty when micro cheating is involved because you are lying to your partner and in some cases you are also lying to yourself because sometimes there might be some feelings involved in that micro cheating but you're here telling yourself oh it's nothing oh we are just friends oh i'm just chilling and not but, but it, it, it goes way beyond that after a while if you allow it to brew so it's always better not to start it at all now if you want to know if your partner is micro cheating here are some tips you know that could help you along if your partner spends all their time on their phone chatting texting just pressing and this is not a normal behavior if it's someone that has always been fixated with their phone okay you can excuse it away but if it's someone who wasn't really into phone and then all of a sudden starts you know it starts being fixated on the phone texting taking their phones wherever you know everywhere putting password as opposed to not having a password before that is a big red flag that could signify that um, your partner is cheating if your partner also suddenly starts um, getting interested or has a hobby that was not there before is suddenly interested in something oh like maybe going to the gym or okay I want to do this you know something that they were not um, interested in before but all of a sudden they now want to do that you know that could be a pointer you know that your partner is micro cheating if your partner seems indifferent or detached you know over a long period of time it might be a sign that your partner is micro cheating she's probably or he is probably um, getting attention from elsewhere if your partner is also being defensive about a certain interaction maybe you probably asked him or her that oh i saw this on your phone or i saw you, your chats with so so and so online or i saw this and i saw that and then your partner is being overly defensive over that matter it might be a pointer to the fact that there is more to it and it might be a sign that he or she is micro cheating also if your partner starts to make um, comments you know 
uh, about someone else's attractiveness you know saying that oh this person is looking fine oh this person is my spec oh this person is this oh i like the clothes this person is wearing i like this person's hair and all that and your partner is not giving you any such compliment he's not saying anything about stuff like that to you it might be a sign that your partner is micro cheating because like i said earlier people who micro cheat are always looking for something that is not in their relationship you know it might be that they are even in a relationship with someone who is not their spec so they might be eyeing their spec outside and under the guise of oh we're just friends or you know we, we just we just chat we just there's nothing there but really really there might be something there because the person could be their spec or they like something about the person so if you see your partner co constantly complimenting a certain someone it might be a sign that something is going on there if your partner suddenly starts being overly busy or working late nights or too busy too busy to call you send text your text is not replied until after two days three days the person just seems overly busy and sometimes you might see them online you know making posts or commenting to other people's posts but they don't reply your own message that is a major red flag it shows that the person is micro cheating also if your partner that used to be committed to the relationship doesn't seem so committed anymore it's a sign that something is going wrong like i said if if um the part if, if someone is micro cheating you know it is a pointer that their primary relationship is is in trouble there might be it, is, it might be a sign that something is going wrong and that is the right time for you to have a conversation and you know check things out between you two it might even be that the relationship is not um, working for both of you and you might have to move on but then if you can't do that without having a proper relationship and if you're if you if you guys are not going to be together again it's always better to have a relationship about it and have closure instead of just moving on like that and it might also be that that is not the case because there's nothing that says that um you cannot grow stronger together even if there's been an episode of micro cheating it's all communication communication and commitment to your relationship it is important to know that most micro cheating do not start out um consciously you know it starts by chance you know most people don't get into it thinking that oh yes i want to cheat no 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 it usually starts by chance maybe oh, a, a comment somewhere or a greeting somewhere or a message from an old friend you know things like that that's how it starts and that's why you have to be careful with it because it is subtle it just it just grows in on you if you're not careful and it could lead to um, a lot of other things serious things it could lead to sexual infidelity and it could also lead to the breakup of your primary relationship so that is why you have to be aware. But like I said earlier, the fact that there's been episodes of micro cheating in your relationship does not mean that um, you have to discard the relationship completely. It doesn't mean that the relationship is all bad. If you still want to be in that relationship, you can always mend. And the first thing to do is to let go of all forms of micro cheating or your, those you are micro cheating with your micro cheaters. You let go of all that and then you focus on rebuilding your relationship. It is also important that you discuss your boundaries with your partner because in a relationship that there are no boundaries, there, there should be no offense. But once you have set a, a set of boundaries that bounds the relationship, then your partner would not be able to go outside of those boundaries because you have already agreed. So if you're wondering if your actions count as micro cheating, or you're suspecting that your partner may be micro cheating on you this is the right time for you to have an honest and open conversation about the matter and if you have enjoyed this video why don't you click the like button and also subscribe so that you can get notifications for our future videos and i'll be seeing you